Hi, welcome back to Guide to SolidWorks, and this is going to be part 3 in the tutorial 7 for the CSWA. Now in this part 3 what we're going to be looking at is adding in this pocket here into the face of this model. Um, so let's have a look what the question is asking us and we'll dive into it. So this is our question. Um, it's asking us to take the previous model that we did, so we're just having a quick look down here asking us to take the previous model that we did and modifying the part um, uh, so we are going to modify it by introducing this pocket here now the information we are given is that the typical size of this material gap around the outside is one mil so we're going to be creating an offset of one mil all the way down here across here and down around the sides now we have a, a pocket that goes back into the material but 12mm offset from that back face so we can sort that out with not much of a problem. Um, there's no other major changes to this, in fact there's no other changes at all, we're just creating that pocket. Um, everything stays the same in terms of uh, what we are introducing with the material and the uh, model that we've been doing so far. It's just the one pocket that we're adding in, it's not symmetrical, so therefore it's just from that one side, that front face. Um, uh, and what we're asked to achieve by the end is finding out the mass part, the mass of this part in grams. So we'll be able to produce a value for that at the end. Okay, okay so let's dive into this and see how we get on. Okay, so this is the component we produced in the last model, uh, in the last tutorial, part two. Um, so what we're going to have a quick run through is modifying this to turn it into what the question is asking us. Now I'm going to be wanting to modify this front face here, so this one here, um, and I'm going to be wanting to create a pocket into this that takes me back into the model. Okay, so right, let's have a look at how we do that. I'm going to first of all turn it so that face is straight on with me. And we can see what we've got here. I'm going to sketch on this face that I've highlighted. So now I've clicked on it, I can go to sketch and sketch on that. And what I want to do is, taking the outer shape of this, I want to offset the outer shape of this model. Um, oh, sorry, sorry, of this face to the interior of this model. Now, at the moment, there we go, has it pulled up everything? One moment, it's not picked up all the lines, that's why, there we go. So let's do a quick offset. So we're just going around, highlighting the outer edges, like so. Now you'll see it's produced an offset profile. Now I want to offset this by 1mm and not 10mm. And it's going to the outside, so I'm just going to reverse that so it goes on the inside there. Okay, now once I've got that offset in, I want to also spin this around and pick this arc coming down the back of here. So that edge there. And I'm going to also offset that arc and I'm going to offset it by one mil coming down in that direction. One mil. One mil in that direction. There we go. Okay, so what I've produced there is two regions. Now, this top region here is going to produce the pocket that just cuts out into this section here and this bottom region here is going to produce the pocket that cuts through until it's on line with this back face here okay so now the reason i've offset this line here is if i hadn't offset that and i just converted the entities what would have happened is as i cut through the back it would have completely got rid of this face here and left me with a big hole so it's important to make sure that when we do um, use that 
that arc there to convert the entity to get this sketch line that we use the offset tool and not just convert entities tool okay so now we've got that I'm just going to do a quick extrude so features pop out of that sketch and I'm going to go to cut here now um, what it's allowed me to do is select two different um, contours so automatically coming up with the contours as an option here because of the fact that um, it is in one sketch two areas or two regions so I'm going to pick this higher up area first and it's extruded back past that face what I want it to do is extrude back offset from surface now I'm going to click this surface here and I'm going to offset it by one mil and now I've offset it from the surface I can tick there and you can see how we've got that area like so cut back into that other pocket the next part is I'm just going to drop down this extrude that I've created here click on that sketch again and now I can use that again so by using that again um, I'm going to click on extrude cut select this region here and I'm going to go back offset again in fact actually I can go back up to surface and click this surface here uh, because I know that that surface there is 12 mm from the front what I could also have done is offset it from the back so the same way I offset that one by one mil I could have offset it from the back by 12 mil take care and we get that pocket in place like so turn that on so you can see exactly the profile we've got so you can see we've got this section here and this lower section and then if I just turn that into an isometric view you can see now that uh, it's going through the bottom there and through this front face to the depths that we were asking for okay so that's our modeling that's how we've edited that model the last part that it's asking us for is to find out the mass of this model so I'm going to go to evaluate in my tabs mass properties and we can come into here and we've now got a mass of um, 432.9485 grams so that is our outcome from modifying this model here now hopefully that's um, helped you out and supported you with um, uh, the modeling process that you were after if there is any questions you have about this model please don't hesitate to ask and um, uh, hopefully this has supported you in some way in developing your skills in SOLIDWORKS. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you're a returning viewer, please hit that big thumbs up or that bell icon so you can get access to upcoming content as I release it. Um, and thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.